So coming to the second question, second question just have a glance at it and then we'll start with the solution. So what is given is X limited generally fixes a transfer price for its product and this transfer price is fixed on the basis of cost plus method and the budget for division A is given for the next year. Fixed asset is given, current asset, debt as, annual fixed cost is given, variable cost is given, budgeted volume, desired written on investment is given. Isn't it? So and what you have to find is determine transfer price for division A on the basis of cost plus method. And you are also required to find out if the volume is increased by 10%. Now the present volume is 2 lakh. If it is increased by 10%, what will be the impact on transfer price? This is what you have to find. So let's start with the solution. So remember one thing. When cost plus method is used. Under cost plus method. Transfer price is fixed as total cost plus desired rate of return. I am repeating it. Under cost plus method. Transfer price is equal to total cost plus desired rate of return. Clear? So now. We have the total cost with us. But we don't know the desired rate of return. Okay. Desired rate of return percentage is given. Percentage on total investment is given. Now we have to find out what is total investment. And what is the desired rate of return on that investment. On the basis of that we will find transfer price. Clear. So now starting with the calculation of total investment okay so total and fixed assets particulars rupees so fixed assets given in the question is 2,50,000 next current assets it is 1,50,000 debtors it is 1 lakh okay no other assets to be included so total is 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 lakhs will be your total investment. And now you have to find the desired return on investment, isn't it? So desired return on investment is equal to 28% of total investment. That is 5 lakhs. So 28% of 5 lakhs if you do, you will get the answer as 1,40,000. Clear? This is how you will find out the total investment. And now we have to find out the transfer price on the basis of cost plus method. Keep the heading as calculation of transfer price. Okay. Particulars rupees. So I told you under cost plus method transfer price is total cost plus desired rate of return. So tell me the total cost now. Total cost includes fixed cost plus variable cost. So fixed cost is given as annual fixed cost of division is 4 lakhs. Isn't it? Fixed cost 4 lakhs. Next. Variable cost 10 per unit. You have 2 lakhs. Isn't it? 2 lakhs into 10. That will be 20 lakhs. Okay. No other cost. So add it. You will get 24 lakhs. Then you have to add desired rate of return now. So desired rate of return we have found it out. It is 1 lakh 40,000. Isn't it? So add 1,40,000, you will get the answer as 25,40,000 is your transfer price. Okay, so total cost minus plus desired profit, desired rate of return is your transfer price, isn't it? So 25,40,000 is your transfer price. So transfer price per unit. How will you find out? Total transfer price is 25 lakhs 40,000 by number of units is 2 lakhs. Isn't it? So when you divide it you will get 12.70 per unit. Clear? That is the transfer price for division A. Okay. 
So now what we have found out is transfer price for division A. Isn't it? Now what I ask you to find is if the volume is increased by 10% then what will be the transfer price and its impact. Isn't it? So the present volume is 2 lakhs. It is increased by 10% in the sense present volume is 2 lakhs. Isn't it? If it is increased by 10% in the sense 2 lakh into 10%. So the total volume will be 2 lakh 20,000. So on the basis of 2 lakh 20,000 you have to find out transfer price. So now coming to transfer price. How will you find out transfer price and the cost plus? Total cost plus desired rate of return. So total cost is fixed cost given in the question as 4 lakhs. Isn't it? Now, variable cost rupees 10 per unit. The present volume is 2 lakh 20,000. Isn't it? 2 lakh 20,000 into 10. You will get as 22 lakhs. So, when you add it, you will get 26 lakhs and this will be your total cost. So, for this you have to add desired rate of return. So, as we found out desired rate of return is 1,40,000. Isn't it? So, add that 1,40,000. So, if you add you will get 27,40,000. This will be your transfer price. So, per unit transfer price how will you find out? Per unit transfer price is 27,40,000 divided by number of units. Increased volume is 2,20,000. Isn't it? So when you divide it, you will get the answer as 12.45 per unit. Clear? Now, what is the change which you can observe? So when you are using transfer price for 2 lakh units, isn't it? Then the transfer price what you get is 12.70. Is it theta? When the units are increased, then the transfer price what you get is 12.45. So what can you observe from this? If the number of units or volume is increasing, your transfer price is getting reduced. This is the impact of increased volume. Clear? Thank you.